So I've had this Hisnox uh, Bluetooth headset for the helmet uh, for some time now. It's, it's brilliant. It works really well. It's good value for money. I think it's about um, £40. It's a model HY-01S. Um, but I say people compliment me on how clear the sound is. So I'd say it lasts a long time as well. It lasts a 12-hour blood bike shift without any problems playing all the time um, and obviously receiving taking calls so yeah I'm really impressed and pleased with it but the switch has started to become dodgy the volume up down is rotating this part here um, and that works sometimes but not others and it has been wet recently I'm suspecting there's perhaps some um, water's got in but uh, so I'm just going to see if I can clean the contacts and get it working again properly. Evidently there are five screws around the side and uh, there's this panel here which I don't quite understand. I think it's something to do with this uh, USB-C socket. But so I'll leave those in for now and take out the others. Good, that's come apart fairly easily. Um, just had to prise it apart. There is actually a, to be a rubber seal in this groove, which is good. And there's also a bit of, sort of foam here on this rotating control that pulls off. And it's got a slotted, what was it what I was expecting? A, um, just a, a sort of multimeter type um, switch on the printed circuit board with, with tracks on the board and there's some sort of you know, leaf mechanism on the uh, control but it's, that's what I had on my last headset which was even cheaper than this one um, but this has actually got a proper proper switch which is good and bad I mean, it's obviously all sealed inside so it's I'm not sure I'm going to be able to clean the contacts there's a little o-ring on there which I guess can stop water getting in from this side perhaps. There's a press button in the centre and this rotating part so yeah there is a yeah, that does press in to um, play and pause and various other things, receive a call but it also rotates about I don't know, 45 degrees yeah 45 degrees each way for the volume up volume down and um, holding it moves a track forward, track back and that sort of thing. So yeah, maybe I'm not going to be able to get anything into there. I'm going to try some WD-40 on these pens which they work quite well. I'm not sure you can buy these anymore, I haven't seen any for a long time. But they work quite well. Situations like this where you don't want to flood the thing with too much liquid. Not really very satisfactory, is it? Apart from replacing the switch, and there's much else I can do. I'll work in. I think I'll leave that for a bit and apply a bit more later, and uh, I'll put it back together and see if it's any, any improvement. The other two screws, by the way, they do seem to be associated with this part here, which does got to be the uh, connector for the USB-C charger. Sorry, not the USB charger, it's for the, uh, the headset. It looks to be USB-C, but it's, um, it is where the headset connects the speakers and the microphone. The charging port is actually here. That is USB C. This looks as if it could be something slightly different. I don't know. Maybe they've used a USB C connector there as well in a non-standard way. So I'll put some more W40 on after leaving it to sit for an hour or so. So I don't know. I guess there's a chance that might have 
soaked into the joints, into the contacts rather. Uh, so yes, so that how does this work? This um, all these seams look good by. This, this foam one looks fine. But I think this just pokes through here and clips on like so. It's got this sort of stop on it, so it can only move so far. And the uh, pips in there should be vertical to engage with this slot. And get it back on properly. Yeah, it looks okay. It's, it's returning back with this spring. So, let the screws back in and sure, give it a go. See if it works. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, I can. So start something playing. Oh, that seems to be working. as it flashes once you get to the maximum volume or the minimum volume it flashes that's, that's definitely working better than it was yeah good so a bit of WD-40 does seem to have made a difference perhaps but uh, time will tell I suppose okay thanks for watching Thank you.